Well, we got the train level. Anytime anybody mentions Uncharted 2, everybody goes, Hey, remember the train level? That was pretty sweet. I think I can <laughs> remember the train level. Well, might as well go back. Don't want to see Chloe. Nope. Go back to Elena. Have fun with a good character. Yeah. It's a club. Chloe's not a bad character, only in comparison. Yep. So despite the train level being essentially just a straight line, uh, it's they managed to make it really fun, mainly because there's a whole bunch That's of cool. different, they, it's a whole bunch of different cars and you climb them all different ways. That's great. They very they, thoroughly thought of all the shooting uh, possibilities with trains. I, I hope they put in some references to the beginning of uh, Last Crusade. No, so I don't that would be really it. cool. The circus train was great. Mm hmm. Who? Oh. Eh, eh, I'm gonna get you! That's your neck. That's your neck. And a new rifle, it's the M4. It's a nice gun. Uh, are you gonna get that guy's neck? I'm gonna get that guy's neck when the guy in the train in the next car turns around. There he I, goes. I like that the or rather swaying, I'm just gonna push him. Oof. The swaying train with the uh, oh oh my. Mm -hmm. Going around gentle curves could give you like pretty good cover for just that portion yeah. of a second where you need it. It also affects your aim too. If guys are other, on other cars and it starts turning. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! What I'm being shot. What doing on the outside? I don't know. Oh lord! Sorry boys, just needed to punch your tickets. You punched more than that, Drake. Good job. So yeah, Drake has a lot of new one-liners for killing people, and they're all really related to trains. <laughs> got several train related uh it's like you jokes. needed to train harder whoa that's a man surfing a cow these treasures are getting really off the rails ah Oop. you just got wrecked ah That was really uncoordinated. You guys could use a conductor. Uh, whoop. Just punch the air. Fuck it. Just push him right off. I love pushing people off on, off the train. What a very useful weapon. <laughs> Something else you can do with train cars is like how the guy attacked us through the window. You just hop out, sneak around something, people that way. Something, something, boiler. Uh, and of course the guys can still climb outside of the train. Also, um, the way this level works is that the scenery changes quite a lot. Like, But you never get to look at it, because you're always focused on the train. Well, you can look at it. There's, there are a couple of cars with nothing on, so you can just look around. But, um... Even though... Because, like, you can stay in any car for a long time, but, um... Hold on a second. Someone will be along to take your drink order. Ah! Okay. That one's terrible. Yeah. Why don't you say something cool like, you should see me when I'm steamed? Oh, whoa. Eh, eh. Eh. But there's multiple different types of scenery the train can drive by, and when you get to certain cars, um, it'll switch to a new piece of scenery, so they can just all loop into one, in, into each other. Oh, that's, that's cool. This is also the final level they completed for the game because it was so hard to make. It was also the first one of the first levels they had an idea for. I was reading the art book and they said that they were really cutting close with this level and that they almost had to cut it out of the game because... No! Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Don't climb too fast. Did I give you a mixed signal? Uh... Whoop! I love that there's no real, real physics for them getting hit by by the lights. They just kind of float up into the air and gently fall down. They just turn into leaves. 
So on pretty much any car, you can go over or through or around. Yep. That is so cool. It is very cool. Makes it, it makes it, it makes sneaking a viable option on a train. <laughs> because you can just fool guys and go up and around and through stuff. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I hope I'm not disturbing you, gentlemen. <laughs> We're just lounging on the top of a train. Tank? Why do they need a tank? Oh, come on! Get on the tank, shoot that, <laughs> and drive the tank up the train! Drake, you have no sense of imagination! Oh man, that'd be sweet as hell. Yes, it would! They got stuff all over this train to knock you off. Yep. This is devious. This is the most evil train railway ever constructed. The engineer was just really upset at people driving trains. And all the damn hooligans who just keep climbing my magnificent trains I designed. I'm gonna kick your caboose! What are they doing on top of these anyways? Guard duty. Oh, They're take a look what's on the right side. There's a little village. Train surfing is uh, a big pastime around here. Mm -hmm. oh, shit, what's that noise? Oh, no way! We gotta get off this thing. So yeah, the helicopter's basically a timer. Um, he'll shoot missiles at whatever car you're on, and if you stay in one car for too long, he'll just blow, blow it up, and then you're dead. Isn't Mateevich just shooting himself in the foot here? I mean, like he, he just kind lost of, his yes. tank and everything behind it. I think this guy, this guy in the helicopter, is just is just kind of like a rogue helicopter man. He's the brother of Mike, and he's he's very upset. He's out for vengeance. He's taking orders from no one. Run! Run away from Jerry! Mike was the first. He was the best helicopter pilot. I'm the second best. <laughs> well, you're the best now. My dad was Chopper Dave. I'm getting some mixed signals from you, Jerry. Uh... Come on, Drake. I'm, I'm kicking your ass here. What's, <laughs> what's up? I don't know why that man just froze. It's because of Jerry. Damn it, Jerry. Ah! And this car is too big, and he will blow it up before you can get to the end and open the doors, so you gotta make him go away by shooting by shooting him with oh, a rocket. Okay. Yep. I gotta get out of That gun bounce. Oh no, you lost your gun. Oh well. That gun's gonna derail what's left of the train. Yeah. Look, I gotta get my genie, okay? <laughs> why why is he jiggling? I don't know. It's a roly-poly man. He's one of the Turkish guns from the museum. Did you steal Sully's gun? Yeah. Somehow? The, the, the magnum in this game is Sully's gun. No, it's not. There's only one Sully's gun. Well, it's an imitation of Sully's gun. Alright. Yeah. 
until he was born with that gun, he will die with it. It's isomorphic. Yeah. This guy's a marksman. I know. Now he's shooting inside the train for some reason. Whatever. He's dead. The foolish man. Dead man, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. You're, you're gonna be sorry for crossing my path. Uh. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but you're dead. If only you had a taunt button for when you kill people and just pulls out a little horn and just honks it. <laughs> honk honk! I gotcha! Honk honk! No, that, that's that's for the when the uh, relaunch dog is a gritty cover shoot. <laughs> <laughs> just press the Skeeter button. Douglas, I made you a heat-seeking missile! <laughs> <laughs> Very expensive! <laughs> Oh, you upgrade all your guns from him. <laughs> He's the game's merchant. What do you buy it, Douglas? <laughs> Why is this so funny? Everybody would be exactly like themselves except Doug. <laughs> just be like all over the top max pain. Whoops, I, mi I missed the lock somehow. <laughs> You're laughing too hard. Uh, yes, I'm playing this game live. <laughs> where's, all, where's all the men shooting you? They're hiding. You have finger streets. armor, hell yes! Yes! The Ozzy Osbourne of Tibet. Move it! Ooh! Yeah! Getting up the mountain now. I didn't notice this train was going uphill. Oh yeah, it was. Whoa! Yes! Yeah! Looks like it's the end of the line for you. Where'd this asshole come from? <laughs> if you look at the train ahead a little bit ago, he, he jumped down as he could climb up this one. Oh, okay. Even the fat guys can climb trains. Here's what melee like looks like with him too. Oh, listen to this. Get off my train! <laughs> <laughs> I've claimed ownership. It's mine! I blew up half of it. All keep season that half. Cherry. <sighs> that line is just not. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work. Nope. It might work now. Now that he's downhill from you. Yep. <laughs> Wait for it. There you go. How is he not he dead? dead? He's one of the armored guys. They are mutants! Yeah. Mutant! Mutilate. Mm, I wonder. Take him out! No, not one of those two. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, this is now officially canon. They are mutants. Nobody stops the blog. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't really have anything to kill these guys at the moment, so we'll just take out the logs instead. Send in the gunship! It's not you again! Helicopters. How the hell am I supposed to take on a hell though? Time to fight fire with fire. Who are you talking yeah. to? 
to, Drake? Who are you talking to? He's his own best friend. Man, I've got to be getting close to Chloe. She has to hear me by now. <laughs> Chloe! Hey. If you want to pick up your cell phones, I'm just going to blow shit up till you hear me. Hey. Hey. Oh, my tight pants sense. She must be near. Ah. This is very loud. Yes, that's why I have turned it down. Oh, that would be a good idea. Yes. I've done the same. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's turned down. But yes, all rail shooters are always loud as hell. I've learned this very not quickly. Pokemon Snap. Well, okay, not Pokemon Snap. It's the one exception to all rail shooters. <laughs> a Pokemon rail shooter. Destroy! Oh, how many, how many bolts can this take? A lot. Like if if About you had minute. a grenade launcher, it would be done by now. Yeah. And okay, now it. <laughs> Oh, the helicopter brothers are dead. Damn it. No, no, that, that was still Jerry. He just got a second helicopter. Oh. Eventually, that means Terry's gonna have to come around. Oh, no. Not Terry. It's a good thing we already killed their brother Larry, who is not a helicopter pilot. <laughs> but then there's Ike. So we go with Tim and Draza. He's like a mini boss or a boss or something. Um, because this was the last level they made, uh, this part's kind of botched a little, and they've even admitted that. Um, he's a little frustrating because you can't just shoot him a shitload and he dies. Um, you you shoot him a lot to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like you know he's got a helmet on, so obviously got to get his helmet off. Um, he's just a gigantic bullet sponge. But when you hurt him enough. He'll throw a grenade at you or rush you to punch you, and that means you've got to melee him back. Yeah. And it goes in the same pattern, or is that just coincidence? That was just coincidence. Oh. It made his hat. It made his helmet and sunglasses come off, though. So oh. you just got to get his helmet off and then melee him again. He's no longer too cool for school. You have your shot. <laughs> I just love that part of his protective gear was his sunglasses. Boy, he left the sunglasses on, and they shatter when you knee him in the face. Jerkweed. <laughs> Save my ass again. Are you all right? Get off the train, mate. You have any idea what I've been through? I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. Chloe, come on, we don't have time for this. You're right, so get off the train while you still can. And leave you with them. You made your choice. What did you expect me to do? I expected you to have my back. I had your back. How could you possibly with the other two on yours? Well, good luck with Flynn. We deserve each other. You know, I can't believe... No. You just don't know when to quit, do you? What? No witty remark? Nothing clever to say? I don't. No! Oh, no, you don't! Stop. Just let him go. Put him out of his misery! No. 
Whoa! Do you have to play through this again? Okay. Not the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it's just part of... It's the outside part of the train. Um, and then it, yeah, it skips forward to... A lot easier just to let go. You don't, you don't have to go through any of the wreckage. It's, it's just climbing up most of the train. And he says different things, and there's different kind of angles, so... Yeah, I, I noticed it doesn't look the same. Come on! Mm -hmm. So which uh, climb is directly in the continuity? You need a big hero, don't you? If Drake were to recount this story later, which dialogue would he reference? Would he recount the screaming in silence, or the sigh stupid? Like they used to. Wait, how are you supposed to go? Oh, oh my. Were you just jumping blind? What else could go wrong? No, it just when you hop in there, it just takes over for that little bit. Oh, okay. Yep. Drake, why aren't you dead? Hope this one holds. Got shot in the gut, and then you exploded, and now you are exacerbating all of your many wounds. I mean, and and it's not just like going gray shot. You got plot shot. Oh man, I'm so tired of climbing shit. Like I said, he just replaces organs sign. with treasure when he needs to. The six million dollar man in so many ways. Right now his liver is that man serving a cow. Oh. So eventually he will become completely bulletproof. Just mm -hmm. dented a bit. Yeah. Eventually he'll just lose all of his skin and everything else, so he'll just become a golden man. Yeah, I'm dying, but I got enough to kill another 50 men. It's my last hurrah. My last grunt. Yep. It's like that part in V for Vendetta when he's facing off against the inspector and his goons throwing knives. And it's awesome. And also he yes. has a breastplate made of metal. <laughs> Man's just so curious. I'm told there is a treasure there. Check behind the dead body. I love how he shouts that. <laughs> he says the same thing when he looks for his keys. He must be here somewhere! Where did I last put them? Going to be late for work! There's also a multiplayer map that's uh, really similar to this this whole area. It's a neat map because sometimes the snow starts it starts oh, snowing harder. So don't you want to pick see. up that grenade launcher? Anytime there's a grenade launcher, you want to pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up, but I'm waiting for um, a bigger wave to come along so I don't waste it. I'm waiting for uh, the last helicopter. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I was too up high to for blind fire lock onto him. Oh well. Stone foot! Stone foot! Ugh. 
Steel foot. Steel foot? Ah, whatever. I'm going old school. <laughs> Flintstone foot. Use all the calluses you built from running on the street barefoot. Fred Flintstone is a playable multiplayer character in Uncharted 3. Pre-order today. Or rather, it's just Drake is Fred and Sully is, is Barney. Hey Barney, we're gonna go rob some graves! <laughs> now it's just a crossover between the Flintstones and Doug. <laughs> what have we done? What have we created? <laughs> Your journal, they kidnapped Patty Mayonnaise today. Those <laughs> bastards are gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> they grenade way too far. Also, just, some, just check out all the guys in the ladder. The ladder party. <laughs> they all had their head up each other's butts. Uh, the more the merrier. That's when you send a grenade after. <laughs> Just launch it right up to one in the rear, and then you make a human centipede corpse. Oh god. Drake is truly an artist. Just gonna drag that human centipede corpse all the way through the snow and bring it back to an art museum. But not give them any of his actual art. No. Uh, finders keepers. That's mine. No treasure. If you take this corpse, though, I have no need for it. I looted it. You're done. Steel face! Steel face! And the thing exploded at the same time I punched it. <laughs> that... there was a cause-effect relationship right there. I <laughs> the old fat man. Oh, his hat. You can get him, Drake. I believe in you. You can take those hatted men. Well, formerly. Those hat-free fellows. Never give Drake a hat. Man, Jeff had a hat. He should have been like armor. Just bulletproof. No, the, the hat was knocked off during the uh, alley escape. They, oh. they just didn't model it. Oh, okay. It's one of those little things that got overlooked. Mm -hmm. You're gonna smoke up, Drake? It's actually a knife. Oh, okay. Uh, now I see. Yep. He'll try to smoke that knife. Yeah. You can smoke anything if it gets hot enough. So said Sully. <laughs> I ever tell you the time I smoked napalm when I was in Nam? <laughs> I wasn't fighting the war. I was just. I have the world's worst travel agent. I smoked my grandfather's ashes once by accident. Lean out or I'm gonna climb out. <laughs> you say that like they couldn't both happen. <laughs> You're going to bleed out and you might also climb out. That's the way it's mm -hmm. gonna come down. <laughs> 